Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. By the way, hit that like, subscribe, notification, all that good stuff. Appreciate that. I got this holster right here to be able to use it with my core essential belt. This is a new bottle belt from core essential. And if you haven't seen the first video that I posted on this, I'm going to post it down there. There's going to be more videos coming up on this belt right here. Pretty excited about it, but I did got a holster. I got a couple other things to build my solar bottle belt and, uh, you know, have some fun with it. I got this one because Black Hawk Omnivore and supposedly is designed to fit pistols that has a TLR1 or a TLR2. This is kind of how it looks right here. Again, we're going to take a closer look for you guys to have an idea. Is it a good holster? I don't know. You know, I just got it. So if you have one, put comments down below, and I definitely appreciate that. But like I said, we're going to give it a try. This is my home defense pistol right here. I have this pistol for many, many years by now. This is an MMP core competition ready. I like the MMPs a lot. They feel really nice in your hand, but you can see it right here. And again, this one has a TLR1. Obviously, you want to have a light for home defense and all that. And obviously, you know, you guys get the point right so here's the thing this holster is going to be pretty unique because the retention is going to follow under this light right here so again no matter what let's get it on focus no matter what pistol you have as long as you attach that light you should be able to have retention in the holster and it should be able to work so let's go ahead and open it up by the way i am wearing my old man glasses i'm sure somebody's gonna say something about it but let's go ahead and open this up real quick and this is what it includes it includes one holster obviously a paddle mount it includes a bell loop mount two thumb pads and three spacers I want to know what the bell loop mounts are. I was trying to figure it out because obviously that's a 1.75 bell. So it kind of has to fit there. So that's going to be my biggest thing that I'm concerned about. Here's the holster right here. Kind of get an idea how it looks. Obviously it's going to be a holster for the outside carry in a bottle bell. So obviously they're going to be more bulky than typically. This material right here, it's kind of like a rubber and they do sell it in Coyote as well. And you know what? I didn't care. I wanted to get everything black and it is what it is. But again, they do sell it in Coyote as well. It does have little retention. You can see this right here is the, the retention. I did want it to have a little bit of retention as well. Here's the back side or the holster, obviously you're gonna be able to attach the paddle or the bell loop, whatever you want. I think eventually I wanna kinda of like bring it down a little bit, so I may have to get like a little extension that brings the, the holster down a little bit. Let's see how that kinda of fits. Over here in the bottom is obviously open, which is good, cause if it gets wet or anything, you want the water to come out, right? It looks like a distant holster, it looks good. Let's go ahead and put the pistol in there. Obviously this pistol is clear for, you know, the YouTube people. This thing is clear. So, all right, so let's do that. First try, by the way, and here's what you got. So you kind of have it like this. It kind of feels like it could go a little bit more down to my opinion. It's a little bit of movement there. I don't like that. But obviously, and coming out, you actually have to press that retention and then it will come out. Okay, so more to come on this. I kind of feel like it needs to go a little bit more down. I don't know if there are some adjustments or something that I got to do. But yeah, definitely I feel like it could come down a little bit more. Here's going to be the paddle if you want to use it that kind of way, obviously. Here's going to be the bell loop as well. And obviously, one of the most important things that I was kind of concerned was if it was going to fit the core essentials bell which it does you can see it right there so I'm kind of happy about that so again we're going to set up this bell later on a couple more things in here not really sure what this is but we are going to figure it out and again a couple more accessories that you can see right here it does come with a lot of stuff which I guess is good so far my impressions are Let's go ahead and put it together. And I hope that I could bring that pistol a little bit more down because like I said, here's the pistol. If it's good, it looks good, but I wish it would go a little bit more down. Maybe a good half an inch down here that the pistol could kind of set a little bit more low. But again, you know, the trigger is kind of protected right there, which will go a little bit more down. But yeah, you have enough space right there. It draws and uh, there is the, the hole. So obviously it's gonna require a little bit of training. All right, so I actually went to the instructions because I wanted to make sure that I read everything. And obviously I recommend you to do the same. I got it already installed right here. And this is kind of what you have. So essentially I put the bell loop 
right here three screws really simple to put anything like that and then right here this is going to be the retention so i was talking about how it was loose if you notice it's not as loose no more a little bit a movement but what i noticed is that if you really tie that retention then when you holster the gun it feels a little bit kind of weird but again it's i mean in coming out you see this i'm pressing in coming out or anything like that so again it feels good this is kind of like the look right here if you have an idea obviously this thing right here could be changed as well there's two different choices in there to be changed and obviously if you press down the gun comes out when you holster you can feel it right there it's attached again the biggest thing about this holster guys is going to be the fact that if you put a tlr1 on any gun you can continue to use the holster so if you have multiple firearms that you want to train with and things like that again this will be a good idea because you don't need a different bell you don't need to readjust your bell you don't need to do none of that stuff all you need to do is put a tlr1 in one of your full duty uh, or full side pistols and use it by the way if you have a full side pistol I definitely recommend you to have a light on it. You should carry a full side pistol with a light on it if it's for, uh, you know, a bottle bell or something like that. So I guess it feels good for the price that I paid for this. It wasn't really expensive or anything like that. It does feel pretty decent. Like I said, they do come with this accessories right here. This are bell loops. And essentially what this does is that it reduced that 1.75 to 1.5, I believe. So again, if you don't want to use a bottle bell that is that thick and you have another one, you could utilize this. There they are, those little thumbs push that I'm not going to remove out because I just want to leave them here. And again, this little piece right here that I show you guys as well, I guess after reading the instructions, you could kind of have like a, a dust hood that goes over the pistol i'm not going to install that you do have a lot of stuff that it comes in this pistol for that price it's definitely not bad and again i just want to give you a look right here now if i get my glock 17 i should be able to put it here as well obviously this one is uh competition ready it comes for you to put an optic i don't think an optic is going to be a big deal here i think it will fit with no issues but again this is kind of what you have right here and for the purpose of the video we got the cz p07 here and what we're going to do is that we're going to put the tlr1 and we're going to try that pistol in that holster as well okay zz over here tlr1 let's put it on again this is just going to be a quick try just to see how it fits we're going to hand tight it right here i'm pretty sure that you're required to put a different plate on the tlr1 if you're going to use it but you see the tlr1 right there on the zz p07 but you do see the tlr1 right there in the p07 and now we're just going to get the holster and we're kind of going to put it in there first try see how it feels so again uh, a holster that could be utilized with multiple different guns you can see right here we're gonna it's not coming out it's in place and yeah feels good so again if you need a holster that you could train with multiple firearms this may be a choice for you all right guys i appreciate you guys watching we'll see you in the next one and as always god is in control